Hello again. Just in the little kitchen garden. Uh, just got off work and I came out here and watered everything. Just looking around. The cows have come to say hello. And tomorrow we start on the picket fence. I have it leaned up here. We're going to put the picket fence in and we're going to take these posts and this hog wire out and move it over to the other side to the commercial garden. But there's some stuff going on here. We got our mint or peppermint actually. These are marigolds that are showing up. This stuff is awesome. So these are acorn squash and butternut squash and they are just really cool. Actually, this is the butternut squash. You can see we got some start in there. There's a couple there. Um, there's another one. I mean, they're just full. There's so many blooms. So many. There's some more. There's a big one right there. Look at that. There's a big one with a flower still on it. Look at that. It's being crooked by this vine. That's interesting. But there's a big, big one there. There's a little one right through there. They're just kind of everywhere. And then this is an acorn squash. Let's see if I can find one of these to show you. Um, yeah, right when I need to find one, it's not here. Ah, there's one right there. So there's the little acorn squash. There's another one over there, not doing too good. Um, those are really spreading. Those are fun to grow, easy to grow. These are our French beans. So they'll be like stir fry beans. They haven't bloomed yet. The uh, girls got their little gardens growing here. They planted. Not everything's coming up, but some of it is. Then we just put in these tomatoes. They had them on sale at the grocery store for a dollar fifty, and then two days later they went on sale for fifty cents each. And so I went and grabbed a bunch for the back garden. Um, those are those are nice. And then all of these climbing Kentucky Wonder beans and lima beans. All the Kentucky Wonder climbers are coming up here. We planted those like three days ago or less, and they're already that big. So they like it here. These are just cattle panels I bought at the feed store, about 25 bucks a piece. I just bent them over, staked them. These are where the lima beans are coming. Here's all of our friends here. Oh, there they are. Angus and something else. I'm not sure what the other breed is. There's a big old bull right there. Boy, he is a beast. Big old 2,000 pound animal. Just trampling everything to death out here. They eat everything down like till it's a golf course. And uh, then they have to worm them and give them medication because that's where all the parasites are. <laughs> it's down there. So anyway, um, this is our okra. Didn't really have anything going on. I got these little black mites. I'm not sure what those are, but they're kind of everywhere. Not sure if they're doing any harm or whatever. Um, these are our zucchini, and my goodness, these really grew. They've got little zucchinis on them. Here's one here. You can kind of see the, the little yellow zucchini. There's another one here. Little yellow zucchini right there. Um, those, I'm sorry, those are actually summer squash. I didn't know those were two different things, but apparently summer squash and zucchini are not the same thing. Good to know. See all of our um, uh, marigolds are coming, and my goodness, this is a cucumber vine that has just exploded. I mean, look at that beautiful flower. Yeah, the symmetry in nature is just amazing. And look, there's a cucumber. A little pickle. See, there's a lot of these little black aphids. I don't know that they're actually doing any harm. They just suck the juice out of the vine. And uh, look, there's a little cucumber. There's a little cucumber. I don't think they're actually going to harm the cucumbers. There's a little cucumber. They're just all coming in. And down in here... There's a uh, bigger one I saw, I thought I saw. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. There's two right there, and one back there. This is lettuce leaf basil, kind of gotten, gotten crowded out. This is another cucumber, I think this is Parisian pickle. Um, it hasn't really put out any noticeable cucumbers yet. Our zinnias are just bursting. 
Got a few carrots. Carrots seem to be really hard to grow. But um, these giant um, sunflowers are really doing good. These French fillet beans got nice little purpley pink flowers on them. That's just amazing. And um, these are some pots we did. Oh, look, here's some zinnia. Look at these zinnias. They finally came up. That is really pretty. It's like they got flowers on top of flowers. Really strange. But they're just such vivid colors. Just incredible colors. That one's about ready to pop. It's a wasp right there. <laughs> we don't really try to kill the bugs. We just kind of let them go. Do what they do. They're part of the system. I'm going to come back to these tomato plants and I'm going to pinch out these little growths that come out between the stem and the leaf. And I'm going to put them in water and root them. And then I'll plant them once they root and then we'll have more tomatoes for free. Got some uh, SMR 500 uh, Cal Wonder. I got to put those in the ground. And a little tomato finally showed up. A little tiny guy. But anyway, we got a lot to plant here, and then I got the garden in the back to plant. Just finished hosing off these tractors. They were a lot dirtier than that, believe it. Yes, yes, yes. You are something, aren't you? Uh, they look terrible, but they were a lot worse. So, <laughs> Actually, that doesn't look any different than when I sprayed it, but I saw the dirt come off. So I know dirt came off. And I sprayed it all off of the concrete, so I know I did some good. It just doesn't look like it quite. You want me to hang up? Okay, fine.